continue from practice. This practice is going to be a little bit of a shorter practice, um, but it will get, get your heart rate going. Um, it'll hopefully make you a little glowy with sweat. Um, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if there's something you guys wanna see, I'm always happy to create a video that's specifically for whatever it is that you're that you're wanting. So please feel free to comment um, in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Just in a comfortable seat here. You can have props if you want to. I always suggest having blocks and um, a strap, a pillow, bolster, whatever it is that you have at home to make yourself comfortable. A blanket is always good. And I just want you to come into a comfortable seat. Lengthen the spine. Maybe you sit your hips up on something. I like to do that often. Reach the crown of your head up to the sky. Feel your sits bones press down into the floor. So you have two opposing energies in one body, in your body. And then just notice what you notice right now before your practice. Notice how you feel. Whatever that is for you, whatever comes up, body-wise, emotionally, mentally, physically. This is a great practice for if you just wanna get a little bit of movement in in the morning and you don't have a whole lot of time. And then begin to notice your breath. Just notice what your body does or how your body moves as you inhale and you exhale. And then inhale, breathe in through your nose, draw the breath up through the base of your spine, fill up your belly, fill up your rib cage, feel your sternum come out. Fill up your ribs all the way up to your collarbones. Fill all the way up to the top. And then exhale, sigh it all out. We'll do that again. Inhale, fill all the way up. Raise the shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, sigh the shoulders back and down your spine. Inhale, roll the shoulders forward and up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down your spine. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and up. Exhale, roll the shoulders forward and down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and up into your ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Good, from here, just begin to look left and right. with the breath, nice and slow. And then go ahead and look up and down. Stretching out the neck, the back of the head, the jaw, maybe you let your mouth open a little bit here. And then go ahead and bring your ear down to each shoulder, stretching out the neck. Then go ahead and just roll the shoulders a few times one direction, roll the shoulders a few times the other direction. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, plant the right hand down, side bend over to the right. Inhale, pulse up a couple inches. Exhale, into it, deeper into it. Inhale, lift all the way up, both arms up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the left hand down, side bend to the left. Inhale, pulse up, exhale, deepen. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, plant the right hand down, side bend to the right. Inhale, lift a couple inches. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, stretch both arms up. Exhale, plant the left hand down, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, pulse up. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, side body twist to your right. I'm sorry, twist to your right. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, lengthen both arms up. Exhale, twist to your right. 
Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, reach both arms up. Extend your legs out long. And then bend into your right leg. Cross it over your left leg. You can keep that bottom leg straight or you can bend it. Reach both arms up. Exhale, twist to your right. Hook your left elbow on the outside of the right knee. And the more you press your elbow into the knee, the more you're going to stretch out the back of the left shoulder blade. But if that's too much for you, you can always just wrap the arm around the knee. Good. Inhale, make your way back forward. And then bend into the left knee. Cross it over your right leg. Again, you can keep that bottom knee straight or you can bend it. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Hook the right shoulder on the outside of the left knee. And again, the more you press into that knee with the arm or with the elbow, the more you're going to feel that stretch maybe in the back of the right shoulder blade this time. Every time you exhale, sink a little deeper into the pose. Good. Inhale, bring yourself back forward, cross your legs, and then walk your hands forward with legs crossed. Come into this cross-legged forward fold. And sink down into it. Feel that in the low back. And then inhale, walk the hands back up. Go ahead and come on to hands and knees. Stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, melt the belly down, lift the chin. Reach the tailbone up and back. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Inhale, melt the belly, lift the chin. Reach the tailbone up and back. Exhale, round the spine, up and back. Tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Inhale for this cow pose, melt the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine up and back for cat pose. And then sit your hips back to your heels in this cow pose. And then inhale, come forward, scoot your hands forward, drop the hips, lift your chin straight out in front of you. Make sure your ears are up out of your shoulders. So make your neck long, press into your hands. Exhale, bend into your knees, bend into your hips, come back into child's pose. Inhale, slowly roll the spine forward, come into cobra. Exhale, bend the hips, bend the knees, set your hips back to your heels. Child, inhale, roll forward, drop the hips, lift the chest, lift the gaze, cobra. And then stay in this cobra pose. Press the tops of the feet down and lift up the legs for upward facing dog. Now, if this is too much of a back bend, you can keep your legs lowered. But you're going to exhale, slowly lower all the way down onto your mat. Bring your hand, fingertips to 10 and 2, like you're guarding cupcakes with your hands. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, lower. Reach the arms out behind you. Begin to lift your chest up, lift the legs up, come into locust pose. And then hold, make sure your gaze is down, head and neck in line with your spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades back onto your spine, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, reach the arms straight forward above your head. Exhale, pull the elbows down to the hips. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull the elbows down to the hips. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull elbows down to hips. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull the elbows down to the hips and hold. Exhale, plant the hands down underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift the knees, squeeze the glutes, and slowly lift straight up into a plank pose. You're always welcome to stay here or lower down onto your knees. Your choice. Stay for an inhale. 
And then exhale, bring your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out the feet. This is your first downward dog of the practice. Shake your head yes and no. Spread your fingers wide, grip the mat with your hands to distribute the weight evenly into your fingers. Gaze should be between the knees or between the thighs. Inhale, slowly shift forward into your plank pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop or walk your way up to the top for forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees, let the top of your body hang. You can let your arms hang, you can let your head hang. You can shake the head yes and no. You can grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side, forward and back. Let this feel good in your body. This is great for spine, lower back. I get a lot of requests for low back stuff. Go ahead, go ahead and let the fingertips rest down onto the floor. Bend your knees, tuck your chin. On the exhale, roll up one vertebra at a time, nice and slow, still letting the arms and the head hang. Come all the way up to the top, reach the fingertips all the way up, press your hips forward, reach the fingertips back, come into a, um, a back bend. And then exhale, bring your palms to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, option to lower down onto your knees, lower down halfway. Inhale, shift forward for upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, float your way to the top. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, straight back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Inhale, step back, high plank, option to lower down onto the knees. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, shift forward, upward dog. Exhale, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, slice through, dive by, right back down. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, shift forward, upward dog. Exhale, tuck the toes. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, curl the knee in towards your collarbone. Shift forward into high plank. And then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, shift forward, knee to collarbone, high plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee in, shift forward. Inhale, lift, bend the knee, point the hip out towards your right side. Or scorpion. Stay for an inhale. And then exhale, lower the foot down. Inhale, lift the left foot up to the sky. Exhale, pull the collarbone in towards the, or the knee towards the collarbone. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee in, shift forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, lift back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, bend the knee, point the hip out to the left. Flex your foot, try to touch your left heel with your right, or touch your left heel to your right glute. Good, stay for an inhale. Exhale, lower that foot down. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, float to the top of the mat. 
Bend your knees, inhale, lift up the arms, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Good, feel your feet root down into the floor. Maybe take a, some little pulses here, getting the lower body going. Stay for an inhale, lift all the way up. And then exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step your right leg to the back of the mat. Dial the back foot down about 45 degrees. Inhale, lift the arms up, come into warrior one. So feet are on two separate tracks here, two separate railroad tracks. I'm pressing into the knife edge of my right foot, bending deeply into the front knee, and pull your hip, your right hip forward. And hold here. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, shift forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step float, hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend into the knees, lift the arms up, Utkatasana chair pose, hold. Sink a little deeper. Look down to see the tips of your toes. If you don't, shift your shins back. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. This time on the inhale, step your left leg back. Remember, adjust your feet on two separate tracks, so almost as wide as your mat. Lower the back foot down. Inhale, lift up the arms. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. So again, wrap the left hip forward, press into the knife edge of the left foot. You'll feel a nice stretch in the back left leg. Try to sink a little deeper into your front knee. Press down into the right toes. Notice what your feet are doing. Try to make an arch with that right foot. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, plant the hands down. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower, halfway down. Inhale, shift forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog, pedal out the feet here. Good, inhale, shift forward into your high plank. Begin to roll onto the left side or onto your knife edge of your left foot. Bring all the weight into your left hand, reach the right arm up, come into side plank and hold. Maybe lift up that leg if that feels good. Option to modify by bringing that right foot forward. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Inhale, shift onto the knife edge of your right foot. Stack both shoulders, lift up the left arm. So your body's in one straight line here and I'm leaning back into this pose so that my left shoulder is stacked over my right. A lot of people tend to bring this top shoulder forward. Try not to do that. Really activate this lower oblique to keep the hips lifted. Maybe lift the leg if you need more or bend the knee to place the foot in front of you on the mat. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, lower that hand down, come into full plank. Lower the knees down, come into your child's pose. rounds of breath here and then slowly come all the way forward sit down onto your butt 
move to the middle of your mat, slowly lower all the way down, scoot your heels up by your glutes, maybe you touch the heels with your, or your Achilles tendons with your fingers. Scoot the shoulders down, press your shoulders down into the mat, lift your heels, lift your hips for bridge pose. <laughs> then you're gonna exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and hold. Maybe clasp the hands underneath your sacrum if that feels good in your body. Good. Exhale, lower the hips all the way down. Begin to C curve your spine up. Lift your shoulder blades up off of the mat. Extend your right leg out long. Extend your left leg out long and hold. And the exhale, come into high boat. Make sure your spine is flat and not round. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, high. Inhale, low. Exhale, high. We've got eight. Shh. Seven. Shh. Six. Shh. Five. Shh. Four. Option to bring the hands down if you need to modify. Two. Shh. One. Hold it out. Go ahead and plant the hands. Plant the, the feet. Lift up into reverse table. My fingers are pointed towards my heels. You can also point them out to the sides. Try to lift the hips up here. And then exhale, lower all the way down onto your mat. Hug your right knee into your chest. Bring it over to the left side. Reach your right arm out long. Come into a supine twist. every exhale let your body sink a little deeper into this twist inhale bring both knees back through to center extend the right leg hug the left knee into your chest bring it across your body extend your left arm out long to the side and again it doesn't matter where the, the top knee lands your shoulder can stay on the floor as an anchor for your twist Maybe your gaze falls over to the left if you need more of a cervical spine or a neck spine twist. Go ahead and make your way back through center. Hug your knees into your chest. If you want to grab for the outsides of your feet for happy baby, this is our last pose that we will get into today. exploratory here in this pose. And then when you're ready, make your way down to your comfortable resting pose for Shavasana. You can use any props that you want to here. Put your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your chest. Inhale, take a nice big deep inhale. And then exhale, let it all go. Inhale to the count of four, three, two, one. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. One, hold, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can stay with that breath or you can let your breath come back to its normal rhythm. You can let your hands fall down next to your sides and then rest, completely relax. Notice how your body feels, if there's been a shift since the beginning of practice. This is where I will leave you. Of course, you're always welcome to rest for as long as you'd like. Thank you all so much for joining me on your mats. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.